Okay, I talked about if statements, I talked about else statements, if else. There's also one more I need to talk about, it's the else if. And basically, the else if allows you to if twice. It allows you to check two different things. Instead of just an if statement, you just check one thing. If A is bigger than B, do this. Otherwise, do that. Well, you might want to say if A is bigger than B or if A is equal to B, else do this. So you can check two different things by using else if. So basically, it just looks like this. Let's create a variable and call it A and set it equal to 10. Let's set B equal to 20. And let's do our if statement. If, say, A is greater than B, echo A is greater than B. Else if, oops, A is the same, oops, as B, echo A is equal to B. Else, echo, A is less than B. So let's save this and run it real quick, see if we made any errors. Okay, 10 is less than 20. That's true. But if we changed A to 20 and save it, 20 is equal to 20. And if we change A to 25, 25 is greater than 20. In a space. Okay. So what's going on here? Let's look through this code. So basically this is our basic if statement. We already understand this. If this is true, do this. Else, do that. All we've done here is we've added this little if, or this little else if. And like I said, this allows us to ask a, a second question, basically, right? If this is not true, check to see if this is true, and then do this. If neither one of these are true, do this. And that's basically all there is to it. Else if, it's just a, a variant of the if-else statement. Uh, but this is useful. You will use this from time to time in, in many different ways. So you, you sort of need to be familiar with it and all that good stuff. So that's all for this video. And if you want to get my entire PHP course absolutely free, head over to codemy.com slash free PHP. That's codemy.com slash free PHP.